Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another Model 1s um, collection to share with you. Uh, they've come out with a new top and base coat, and I was very interested in that. Um, I had uh, loaned my mother my top and base coat that I normally use, and they never made it back. So, I was really happy to get these. And then they also have a matte top coat. I've never tried a gel matte top coat, so I really was interested in trying this. And then they sent me a black gel polish with my order. Or, they didn't send me. This came in my order. And then I have this beautiful cat eye gel. And then I have a topper. So, I'm going to show you what the brushes look like real quick. Um... I'm just really impressed with the Model 1's brand. So there you go, there's a brush shot. Um, I think that they're priced nicely. And, you know, that was another reason why I wasn't ever interested in gel polishes is the price. So, um, <clears throat> let me see. This kit right here um, is $17.99. And I do believe it came with the magnet. If I'm wrong, I'll put a note down below. I got two orders in the same day, and I can't remember which one came with what. But this is $17.99 on Amazon. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out. Um, I ordered mine on August 15th, and they showed up on August 20th. Um, there was a weekend involved in there, and I think they would have showed up earlier, but, you know, I wasn't at work on Saturday, so of course I didn't get it. So what we're going to do is get these out of the way real quick. I've got a little swatch wheel out today, and I am going to use the base coat. I need to figure out, I need two, I need three all together. So I need to do three nails all together. I want to check out the consistency on this base coat. And you guys know, when it comes to playing with gel polish, I like really thin coats. So, And I know you don't have to use this on a nail wheel, but I want to see the consistency and see how you know well it spreads and and everything so there's one trying to get off as much as i can here we go with the second coat i do like the consistency it's not too thick and it's not too thin so that's that's pretty cool not that i'm a gel polish aficionado we, we all know that i'm a regular gel polish wear or -er -er. but um I you know I have to I have to give things a try and let you guys know what is out there. So I'm gonna cure these and I will be right back. Okay I am back and I'm gonna do two nails with the black um gel polish and then I'm gonna do the cat eye over it and and the sparkling top coat. And once again, you guys know, I might even go ridiculously thin on gel polishes. And that's just because it's a learning curve for me. Oops. Oh, it's a good thing I'm covering that one with black, too. It's, um, you know, it's very new to me. And, I, you know, I don't, I don't want it to bubble and lift and, and all that great stuff. Um, I'm practicing so that when my friends come over, I can do theirs do their nails with gel polish because a lot of my friends really do like their nails getting done with gel polish maybe it's because they can't come over as often as they would like to and they're trying to get it to really last um, get a little bit well, let's see what's on this brush I like to really thin that brush out with it just get it on there good and thin and I've, I've told y'all, um, don't worry, I'm not going, I'm not jumping on the gel train. I'm just, uh, I have a massive collection of regular polishes, and I'm really looking to uh, extend my gel polishes for when friends and family come over, or if I ever actually get to go on vacation and need some extend wear. Okay, I'm going to cure these under my LED lamp for 60 seconds, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to start off with the topper. Um, this is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's gorgeous. So I'm gonna, and I only did one coat of the black because we are doing this topper. Ooh-wee. Oh, that is 
gorgeous. And I know I say that word way too often. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I got this one. Because you could use this over any color. Look at that. I mean, it's duochrome and... Oh, heavens. Okay, I'm going to close up the lid on this one. I'm real funny about gel polishes. Because um, I don't, you know, I don't want to mess them up. Next, we're going to do this cat eye one. Let me show you what it looks like on my brush. Got some duochrominess going on there. So there we go. And we're going to just do a coat of this real quick and add the magnet to it. And the instructions didn't tell me I had to do this over black. You could do it over any color. You could try to do it on its own. But I just I don't want to have too many steps. You know what I'm saying? So here we go with the magnet. One, two, three. Oh, gorgeous. It's kind of got like a light purple and then that blue stripe going on. I'm going to cure that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I've done, uh, you've got the glitter topper here, the magnet, uh, the cat eye magnet, one here, and then I did two plain black ones, and I did the same colors over here from over here. I'm going to do shiny top coat on these three and matte top coat on these three. So let's get going. And I really am looking forward to seeing how this top, yeah, I like this top coat. Some of them are just so thick and goopy to me. You know, um, I do have some gel polish thinner. I've never used it. I don't think you should have to use that right out of, you know, right out, right off the bat. So we're going to do these shiny ones first. And that's not really changing it or anything, which is fine. I mean, they're glossy, you know. But you want them to stay glossy. That's why you do the glossy top coat. Okay. Well, this one we might be able to tell because there's another blank black one right beside it. Here we go. Yep, not seeing much of a difference there. I'm going to cure these real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, those cured for 60 seconds under my LED lamp. And now for the matte top coat. And I am, again, doing thin layers. Don't want to get to the end and get in a rush and, you know, have issues. So there we go with that one over just the plain black. And now for the crazy beautiful topper. These always look so different with a matte top coat on them. Sometimes I prefer them that way. Let's get a little bit more for the magnetic one. Alrighty, off to cure for 60 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and they are matte. That is really, really matte. Look at the difference. So the the two that are just the solid colors, you can see that glossy, and that is really matte. And I love this topper with the matte top coat. That is just so cool. Now the magnetic one's kind of weird, um, but as you turn the nail, that magnetic line, it's not showing up on camera the way it does in real life, but the magnetic line kind of looks like it's moving across the nail. I don't know that I would wear matte over the magnetic. Uh, I just, it's a personal thing. Now I would totally wear it over this. And, um, and I didn't even check, but these are no white top coats. It doesn't say that on the bottle, um, but it is obviously no white. And this is the new top coat, and it's called the Steel Top Gel. So, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I like that. So, there you go. So, here are all the products again. We have the shiny top coat. The matte top coat, the base coat, let's put that first because, you know, tell you what, let's, let's do it like we did it in order. And then we had the black, and then the shiny sparkly topper, and the cat eye gel. 
and I did research what my order was and this magnet did come with it so you've got a dual ended magnet I always prefer to use this end but it does have the other end also so there you have it um, my thoughts on this is I think it's a really good deal you know for just under $18 you're getting a base coat two top coats and three polishes so you know if, if you're trying to build your gel polish collection like I am this this is an option for you I will leave a link where I found these on Amazon I used to be an eBay buyer but I am slowly falling into the Amazon you know trap <laughs> so that is it for today I hope you enjoyed this little demo of my new goodies that I bought and until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon. Bye.